Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unknowledge Breakfast for Loops. In the last episode, we went to war with the um, Kingdom of Bohemia and whatnot, and just completely and utterly trounced them into oblivion. So now the Kingdom of Bohemia doesn't even exist. Nope. Um, we're trying to revoke some more titles and whatnot, especially from Genoa here, who owns multiple crap that he shouldn't. Um... And that is going to be a work in progress. We're actually being attacked by, uh, what's it? Venice, of all places. Um, they're trying to press someone's claim for some random garbage, which is stupid, but eh, whatever. I can't stop them from being stupid. I can only stop myself from being, st being stupid, which of course will never work, but eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, and we are also going to rank up in our society. And hopefully, we'll be able to... Right? Hopefully, we'll be able to, um... Corrupt priests and whatnot. Fantastic. Yeah, because they want to be able to get the next achievement. Yep, thank you. And we are now a conjurer. So, can I... Ah, there we go. Corrupt priest. Now, who do we want to be the new... And how does it work exactly? When I press an anti-pope's claim. Do we want the imbecile to be the pope? <laughs> hmm. Or do we want to press the claim of someone who's a lower tier? Because, wait. If I make this guy the anti-pope... Right, and then press his claim for the papacy. Then, when he takes it, does he, in addition to being the current uh, Duke of Vienne, does he also then become a king? Here? Uh, I don't really know. Not gonna lie, I don't really know. Hmm. On the plus side, he's already black, which is great. He appears to be suffering from syphilis. Not so great, but, you know, fun for a pope, right? And then we have Dragos here, who is an absolute blithering idiot, which is hilarious. But do we want to make our lower tier dudes? Hmm. Not sure what's gonna happen. Cause I'm, I'm assuming that if he takes the papacy, he'll just you know, abdicate from his um, lower tier here and then move in uh, to the Pope Mobile and just, you know, go around uh, Rome fucking everyone in sight. Maybe? Um, maybe we should just give it a try. You know what? Let's just give it a try. Let's corrupt the hell out of Cornelio and hope that we don't de uh, develop any debilitating satanic illnesses no person lives a life entirely devoid of sin and neither does Cardinal Corneliu I just have to find some traits of his character that I can build on um turn his guilty pleasures into vices I think what difference does it make send people to find out whether Cardinal Corneliu has any character traits that could develop into vices so I'm assuming that targets his sin Send people to find out whether Cardinal Cornelio has any virtues he might not wholeheartedly believe in. Okay, well, let's go for his vices, I guess. And I've inherited the Baron of Ramallah. Where the flying fuck is... Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, who, Babby? I don't know. I still don't know if you're my child or not, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh-oh... Who you fucking? Wife, who you fucking? That's not good. My wife friend is now fucking another man. I'm assuming I could actually be wrong here. Cardinal Corneliu apparently has problems coming to terms with him not having what his neighbor has. He's envious? Perhaps I can convince him of how right he feels over... Or, sorry, how right his feelings are over a banquet. I shall invite the invitation and coat my words in honey. 
or use my knowledge of the Bible to convince him. Does it matter which? I mean, I do have better diplomacy, so maybe we should go with that. Aha! Duchess of Moravia! Exposed! You sack of crap! And Venice, we're coming in hot, we're coming in heavy! Timothy! Just because I didn't let you join the various holy orders, you're going around banging someone? Good boy. Hey, your faithful immortal hunting dog is always around. And always happy to see you. It is good to have such an immortal, faithful friend so we're no longer stressed. I swear we've had this hunting dog for like a million years and I love it. I love that, we are, that our dog is immortal. Immortal dog! Okay, so we revoke the county of Radek. Let's go ahead and revoke the county of um, Ferrara as well. So Pradek is a part of Moravia. Right. Okay, Moravia, the capital. You know what? Should actually be in Pradek. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and install. Who do we want to install? Uh, we don't need to worry about the wicked priest crap anymore, so I am blind to the sight of that garbage. Aha! Cyprian! Brodick it is, my friend. Brodick it is. And now, Duchess of Moravia, we're coming for you. Yes. Ausgezeichnet. We have a million and a half revolts that we need to deal with, but... As we feasted, I sub subtly directed the conversation towards Cardinal Cornelius' neighbor. Though carefully dropped hints, or sorry, through carefully dropped hints, I convinced Cornelius that he does indeed rightfully covet much that is owned by others. The reinforcing effect this had on his envy has already become very clear. The things I do for Satan. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Wait. Oh, I see. Oh, she's jo okay. I see. I see. I get it. I see what happened there. She's just joined the um, some other dude in uh, in his court or whatever. Okay, so Ravenna will be the Dutch or the capital of Ferrara instead of the county of Ferrara, which means that we need to install someone who's not so amazing in uh, Rav sorry Ferrara. My bad. I'm a little confused about everything here. Okay, so Duchy Ferrara. Here you go, buddy. Aww. There, you're looking good, son. You're looking good. Now, Venice. Our war will continue. Actually, let me attack uh, Mallorca first. And then we'll go down to uh, Turnu to attack, to pursue uh, Venice. Betrothed. I mean... Wait, she's a princess? Hmm. I don't know if I want this, um, this lineage to persist. So I'm going to break the betrothal. I feel bad for the other guy because I have no beef with the, uh, with the Sweden or whatever. But... Mallorca is right. They own all of their holdings and whatnot. That'll change in a bit. Just have a lot of stuff that we need to uh, get through here. Yep, thank you. And then if you could assault the next holding as well. That's great. Oh, I see. Never mind. I'm sorry. I was a little confused. I was like, wait. That's not me. <laughs> no, it's my heir. Of course. I'm an idiot. Okay, so now that we've corrupted our um, cardinal here. Um, I guess we make him an anti-pope and then press his claim? But do we want to do that right now or do we want to do that later? Hmm. Maybe we should do that once things have settled down a little bit. Because I think if we do that right now, things might start exploding in a fiery ball visible from space. Which, um... I mean, I'm sure I could handle it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say like, oh, I'm scared or nothing. But... It does scare me a little bit, I'm just saying. Alright, Venice, you're gonna regret this, you dumb bag of crap. 
What? Did you just circumvent me? What an absolute dick. Stop this. You will not be circumventing anything. Okay, the Levantine population in Jaffa have embraced, embraced Vlak culture. Fantastic. And she's dead. Damn it. Alright, well... Ugh. Now he can't revoke his other county there, but yeah. Mm. And his heir is the county of Brno. Hmm. Well, I mean, he doesn't... Ah, shit. You know what? We do need to revoke this and then take uh, give it to someone else. Because otherwise, it's going to be a giant mess. Hmm. So let's release him, because I can't do anything else. Damn it. Little crap. Come on, resist! Just sounds really weird to say to a kid. But please. There you go. Fight me. Alright. So I guess we can... Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know if they're... Ah, uh, shit. We should follow them. Shouldn't we, though? Okay. Do we do it? Maybe after we won our war against Genoa? Not that really matters, though. Because they're not that powerful. Oh, they're in Timis now. Interesting. <laughs> We're already at 70% with this war. I mean, he's only got the one county, so I guess that's not really real bragging rights, but still. It is funny. There you go. Now, Olmec is mine, meaning that we can just give it away to someone else. And it's not going to be someone who is absolutely fantastic. It's just going to be someone who's eh, decently qualified at his job, like Theodore over here. Perfect. Now, Hradek, we are going to give you the Duchy of Moravia. And everything seems to check out. Great. And that means we can give away the Kingdom of Bohemia. Hmm, between these two, who do we want to go with? Let's go with... Ah, right, of course, Prague has to be the, uh... Shit. Has to be the, um... Wait, ah, right. You know what, though? We'll just deal with her later. Um, for now, let's go ahead and can create the Vice Royalty of Bohemia. And shove it up his butt. Nice. Perfect. Austria. No, no, no. I need to focus on um, on solving some uh, things here and there instead of just willy-nilly attacking everyone in sight. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to end our war with Venice first. If we can. Right. That's great. And sure. I'll fund your little research into- Ah, Venice, you've been captured, you dumb bastard. 1,300 ducats! Holy crap! Nice. If this isn't a sign for me to uh, make this guy my new anti-pope, I don't know what is. Do I need to recruit him for Satan? I don't think I need to, right? Um... Has not attempted to corrupt him. So, oh, freed my depravity. I'm assuming that's the qualifier he needs. All right, well, let's make him my anti-pope. Great. Um, and then, how do we attack El Poperoni? I'm assuming we need to... possibly dismiss my troops, right? My domain troops? And my vassal troops, too. Okay, well, I'll do that in a sec, once we've um, ended all our current wars. Pope's not super, super unhappy about me, though. He wants to control the Prince Bishopric of Orbitello. Oh, right, because it's a part of Latium. 
Is he unhappy about the whole? Okay, he's a little unhappy about the whole um, controller of antipopeness. All right. Well, um. Wow. <laughs> what? Two achievements at once? Really? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Again? What is going on with this barony? It's cursed. It's another one of those baronies where people uh, die without any uh, children. Castle Town in Jaffa. Upgraded. Fantastic. We'll worry about that second. Oh my god. Stop, man. Stop asking me. Okay, I get it. You know what? I'll grant you this one thing. Okay? Even though I did expose you, I'll grant you that one thing. I did deny you from joining the, uh, um, the various holy orders and whatnot, so I get that he's upset. So he can just go around banging for all I care. Send him to hiding. She... Ah, right. She was the other genius lady that we were thinking about bringing in. And our designated regent will be... Whom? Who shall be? Hmm, Cyprian? Yeah, he likes me well enough. I don't need, think we need to worry about that. For the Pope? Oh, right. Okay, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That'll be a system I need to uh, explore further. Let's get you guys on your boats and over to Mallorca to kick their teeth in. Because right now they own holdings where they shouldn't, which is everywhere. I believe we can advance in culture. Let us go with tolerance. Thank you. And of course, we can't change shit yet. Well, we'll get there. It's just taking a little while, but we'll get there. And more people are being... Wow. Twice in a row. Not, not a good day for a Satanist, I gotta say. Oh, come on, son. Come on. You know what? I guess there are other more destructive ways of... Um, of taking out your aggression and... Displeasure at having been denied the opportunity to join various holy orders. Uh, medieval teenage days. Who can forget? Okay, so once we take... Benevent... I swear, well, I mean, I get that it's the various diseases that are just coursing through Jerusalem right now, but still, even before that. Feher prospers. The prosperity of Feher has prompted an increasing desire for a great library in the country so that peop learned people there can always find entertainment, which increases our technology spread rate and only costs us 384 ducats. Most likely because our current income is garbage. Let's do it up for 384 ducats. How can I refuse? Right, right. That's great. Uh-oh. Golden Age in China is over. Hmm. Nishkut. I must say. Nishkut. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and call in a strategist. Thank you. We have... Helibo, Helibo. Wow. Okay then, Helibo, Helibo. <laughs> what? Holy shit. That suddenly became 100%. Oh. Oh, wait. Ah, we've... <laughs> That's it. We've just uh, captured all his children. Are we gonna keep the girl? So we released his children, but we're gonna keep the girl, apparently. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh, what a fucking mess. What an absolute fucking mess. I can't believe you've done this. Corsica. Uh, I think we should probably go for Modena. Yeah. Although Siena would mean that we can then create the Duchy of Tuscany and give that away. But no... Wait, well... Actual... Oh, what... What duchy is that a part of right now? 
Corsica, I see. Hmm. You know what? Just go for the county of Modena. And I'm assuming he doesn't own any territory in there. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's just install any random dude. Simeon, congratulations. Modena is now yours. Okay. Um, how about we go with the whole anti-pope thing first and then we'll... Shit burglar. For chaplain. Ah, yes. Let's have our Pope be the, uh... Dude. I don't know if he should be... Trying to improve uh, religious relations with the Pope. <laughs> Send our anti-Pope to Rome to improve relations with the Pope. <laughs> Seems like a pretty uh, insane idea. Proselytize? There's nowhere to proselytize except for over there. How about you just research cultural tech, because I can't really have you going around, um... ...annihilating people. How about we also try to recruit him for Satan? And then maybe that way we can get him to... S I don't know. Okay, well that didn't work out, but that's fine. Alright, um... Ah, right, of course, I keep forgetting that we need to dismiss our domain troops in order to, uh... ...make a difference there. Who's this guy again? Oh, my scholar bureaucrat. Okay, well, that's not good. Shit. We're actually running out of grace. I can't believe it. We're actually running out of grace. Good grief. Ah, sh shit. Oh, no. We're no longer over the supply limit. Great. Timothy? Oh, Stana! Whoa, I can't believe it. She ac she's actually done it. She's actually managed to seduce my son. Ah, uh, sure. Pleasant evening, why not? And my doctor failed miserably. Well, I mean, can you blame him? <laughs> he appears to be struggling with life. So, uh, yeah, poor guy. Alright, that's a 100% with Mallorca. Let's go ahead and revoke his Duchy of Benevento. And his Duchy of Mallorca as well. Now... Mm, we will, of course, release you. And then try to imprison you yet again. You stupid, stupid little man. In Benevento, I believe you were installed in here by me, um, personally. Wait. Was he? I have no idea, it doesn't matter. But anyways. Uh-oh, people are trying to kill Jakob. And my wife is pregnant. Fantastic, and I hope it's my baby. What? Oh, okay, good. I thought that was my son. It's like, oh, shit. Things are already uh, over there. Wait, what the hell did I just click through? I clicked through something. Oh, no. Cancer. Shit. Uh, okay, well, after we do this, we'll go ahead and press the Pope's claim, or our anti-Pope's claim, rather. And then we'll, um, we'll deal with all the other stuff at a future time. Alright, so Mallorca, let's go install someone who is decent at their job. Who's not super, freaking a million years old. Radovan, you can be the new Count of Mallorca, and we will make you the new Duke of Mallorca as well. There you go. Have fun, buddy. No diseases in my lands, right? Okay, well, besides the camp fever that is just completely annihilating uh, Italy. Tiberius, oubliette bitch. That's what you get for reminding me. Never remind me that I owe you some punishment. Life advice. You know what? Fuck it. I don't really care. You know what we're gonna do? Claim the papacy. <laughs> we're doing it. That's right. Wait, we have a holding in Rome? Ah, right, the uh, trade post. We're gonna have our holy order attack the Pope himself. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> That's right. 
Though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still sense an inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I become a changed man. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully it just ends at that, because I don't want to gain any more um, negative traits from being satanic. I can summon a familiar, taint to touch, demonic possession. I think everything I do carries a risk of... You know what? I've been having way too many non-genius children. I think we're just actually gonna name all of our children after... Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and name all of our children after um, supporters of the channel and then we'll just give them land and stuff. Um... Zyster hasn't really had a chance to rule. But you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Hmm. Has anyone else had a chance? No, you know what? My bad. Yarun. Oh, wait. It's Vlad Yarun, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Vlad Yarun. Fantastic. I hope I did that right. I... May have been a little mistaken about that, but if I have, I apologize. But we'll try to get everyone's, uh, all of our supporters' names in there. And then we'll obviously, um, favor the geniuses as, uh... The... Genius children will get preferential treatment? I think that's what I meant to say there. My bad. Um, economy advance, let's go with improved keeps, thank you. Not making a lot of money here, and I think that's partly because the, um, whatchamacallit. The, uh, the, yeah, the, um, golden age is over with China. Which is unfortunate, but it's fine, we'll survive. It's not great. But it's not that big of a deal. Karakian Peasant Revolt. Alright, well, not a big deal. And sure, let's go ahead and dump the Marshal's ideas. And my bastard grandson, go with Thrift. And let's go attack the Pope's... Shit. He's buggered off. What an asshole. Conrad has become a skilled tactician, I don't really care. Some dude is banging some uh, person. Also don't care. What I do care about, however, is uh, various people in my secret society being annihilated. If my opinion ruled, the world would be a more chaotic but fun place. If I keep following the laws, the world would have less chaos but also be less fun. Just is actually a fairly good trait. Fantastic. I don't care what you do, Swabia. Oh, Swabia. Actually, I do care what you do. I think we're gonna retract um, Schwaben from Swabia. And then, uh, yeah, we'll deal with that in a sec, though. Let me win our war against the Popage first. A traveler from the east reaches your court along with his personal bodyguard. Reading from a scroll, he states that the great emperor of China demands a tribute of a thousand heavenly horses from your lands. Less than a thousand ducats, because we're not making a lot of money. I'm okay with it. It's not great, obviously. Good grief. Every single time. Wait. Oh, huh? Oh, oh, that was his dad, okay. Well, Yosef of Benevento, let's have you be my uh, steward and have you collect taxes, please and thank you. And Jino is forming more alliances. Well, that's not good, but... What's worse is people are trying to assassinate Tudor. Eh. Could be worse, I guess. Alright. We're done with the uh, Pope's war. Or the war against the Pope, rather. So, we enforce demands. And Anastasius IV. Who is... This guy becomes a new Pope. Hot damn! Oh, and it's a uh, king title too. 
Oh, okay, so he did abdicate. Awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we can have the uh, Pope himself as our court chaplain. Why not, right? Why not? Let's have you uh, research cultural tech. Let's, uh, <laughs> of course, that does carry the risk of him uh, becoming a heretic, which will be infinitely hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if that actually that can actually happen. So is that our achievement? Is it done? Let's give it a whirl. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, wow! Three of achievements in one episode! Guys, can you believe it? I certainly can't. My goodness. Best day ever. Holy shit. Okay, well, um... On the minus side... We're going to have to revoke this guy's title and shit, but he has various allies in various places. Actually, let me, uh... There we go. I just wanted to wait for this uh, war to be over down here, so... Alright, um... Let's end the episode off for now. We'll come back tomorrow, and then we will play around with the whole Pope thing. Because... From what I... What the fuck? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Brunswick. What have you done? Oh, that's a maybe. I thought that was a guaranteed thing. Alright, well... That's fine, I guess. Uh, I'll try to do it with Genoa, though. Wait, hasn't he been excommunicated? Okay, let's try to get this guy excommunicated by the Pope. And then that'll give us infinite uh, tries on imprisoning him and all that crap. But, holy crap. Oh, wait. Ah, Orbitello. Yes, I will definitely... Oh, my bad. Wrong, uh, wrong item there. There you go. Aw, oh, that's looking good, you guys. Holy crap. Awesome. So let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and then deal with more issues here. But, I believe... Yes. Yes, we can still do it. <laughs> Wait, can I also... Ah, I see it does count as a different religion. Okay, well that's fine. Um, so... Soon, I promise, soon, we'll get started with the whole, um... Great conquest against, uh... Um, the Byzantine Empire, taking away chunks of their stuff. And then granting it to members of my own, uh, dynasty and all that. Yeah, yeah, and that'll be fun. And then we'll actually take huge swaths of land, and then we'll also expand into a Poland and whatnot, which will also be very good. Yep, looks like the world is... maybe my mollusk? What the hell? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, alright. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!